Hey, did you guys enjoy the story about Elmer the Elephant? We're going to color this picture in just a second like Elmer the Elephant. But before I do that, I want to tell you a joke. Why is an elephant so wrinkled? <laughs> because it's too big to fit on the ironing board. <laughs> that one's funny, isn't it? All right. Hey, oh, what is gray and has a trunk? Do you know? What's gray and has a trunk? Yes, an elephant going on vacation. All right. Hey, color your elephant like Elmer the elephant. That means you're going to color your elephant like a rainbow. You can color it any way that you want. You can make your elephant any any way you want. Uh, you're going to kind of color it rainbow, aren't you? Because Elmer had lots of colors. He was different than all the others, wasn't he? So go ahead and color your elephant. Just make him very beautiful and colorful. It can be any way you want. You don't have to do yours like mine. You can do yours any, any way you want. I'm just going to kind of do mine this way. Do you guys know any really good jokes? I know some of you have already sent me some jokes. I really appreciate that. Hey, if you haven't sent Mrs. Reagan a joke, just have mom or dad text one to me for you, okay? I would love to hear your joke. Do you guys know what happened to Ray when he was stepped on by an elephant? He became an X-ray. That's a funny one, isn't it? Uh, but you find a joke and uh, have mom and dad send that to me, okay? Jokes are kind of fun to tell. I like, I like hearing jokes. And I would love to hear you tell me a joke. Go ahead and keep coloring that elephant. He can be any, any, any way you want. This probably take a little while to finish this up, but that's okay. Make your elephant beautiful. When your elephant is all done, guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna cut our elephant out when they're all done. We're gonna cut out that elephant. Um, I hope you guys are having a wonderful, wonderful day. Can you believe that it's already May? Isn't that amazing? Can't believe we're already into the month of May. That's really something. But it is already May. Wowie. All right. You guys can finish up that elephant. You know, it just dawned on me, I haven't used any red yet. I really like red. I don't know why that is. It's kind of silly. Let's make up some little patchworks here. How's your... How's your Elmer looking? Is he coming along pretty good? Oh, I don't think I want black. Just kind of takes a little bit of time to figure out the colors that you want to use, doesn't it? I bet your I bet your Elmer looks very, very beautiful. Oh, let's see here. work Elmer's coming along and let's see I think I'll coloring 
one's kind of fun, isn't it? I like to color. this up. Oh, I have to finish this trunk, don't I? You guys are really being good workers. So let's go up his trunk here. Make a little patch, patchwork on his trunk. Good. It's okay if you go out the lines a little bit because we're going to cut this out, so don't worry about that. Just take some planning when you're doing a patchwork elephant. Would have gone a lot faster if we had just done it all, all gray, huh? All right. All right. We got one patchwork elephant right there, and now we're going to cut it out. We're going to start. Do you see the? The dashed line that goes all the way around my elephant. We're going to cut on that dashed line all the way around. Oh, Mrs. Reagan, you forgot to color You forgot to color his tail. Huh. But you know, when I was a little girl in Africa, they used to make bracelets from the hair at the end of the elephant's tail. And I, I have a bracelet made with elephant hair. Maybe I can bring that in and show it to you on video. That's pretty cool. I need a little bit of yellow on his tail, don't I? Ha! I forgot his tail. You know, an elephant has tusks. Those are actually big teeth. So we're just going to leave those white. All right, so we're going to start right here at the dash line. And we're just going to go all the way around until we're all done cutting him out. Start on that dash line. Do your best. Stay on that dash line. Remember, you're using that helping hand to turn the page, right? That helping hand is your helper. I'm just gonna keep turning that page. Make sure that you have Thumpkin on top. If you have Thumpkin on top, sometimes that Thumpkin gets underneath. We wanna keep him on the top. I'm just gonna keep turning like this. Keep turning your paper. That helping hand is your helper. Yeah, so kind of God to give you a left hand and a right hand to turn paper when you're cutting. It's just kind of God to give us two hands. We use our left hand and our right hand every day to do things. When God made us. He knew just what we would need. God is wise and knows all things. How do you know? How do you know? God is wise and knows all things. How do you know? The Bible tells me so. Does God love you? He sure does. God loves us and sent his son. How do we know? How do we know? God loves us and sent his son. How do we know? The Bible tells us so. All right. God made all things. God made elephants and zebras and giraffes. God made the animals and people on the sixth day of creation. 
Did you know God made the animals? He made the animals. Did you know God made the animals? He made the animals. Well, just look around and see what he's made for you and me. Did you know God made the animals? He made the animals. You guys, that was really good cutting. Now, all you need to do, we're about finished up here, so all you're going to need to do is take your glue, take your glue stick, and put a little bit of glue on Elmer, and we're going to glue him to the black construction paper. There we go. And we have one very handsome elephant. That was awesome work, you guys.